Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Getsuga, and today I'll be going over some of the new cards from the new Duelist pack. I guess I forgot what the name of the pack was, as usual, but in this pack we have Sherry's cards, Ruri's cards, and Yugo's cards. And today we'll be going over Yugo's cards, since I already went over the other two, and I somehow forgot to do Speedroids. But anyways, let's get started. First off, we have the level 4 Wind Machine Tuner, known as Speedroid Party Horn Kid, and it's level 4, like I already mentioned. And it has 1000 attack and 1000 defense. And what is interesting about this card, it's a level 4 tuner, which is already really good in itself, but it gets even better than that. Also, sorry about the fan noise from my laptop. Anyways, for the first effect, if this card is normal or special summons, you can excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of other wind monsters you control. Add one excavated card from your hand, also place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. This effect is already pretty good, granted it is, I mean it's as good as the amount of wind monsters you have face up on the field, but speed droids are really good at spamming, so this shouldn't be much of an issue. And the second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one level 3 or higher wind monster you control, reduce its level by 2, which is pretty nice since it actually helps you modulate your level so you can go into certain speedroid synchro monsters, and it helps you bring out that level 3 monster. Second monster we have is Speedroid Magic Hound, and it's a level 3 machine effect monster, with 800 attack and 800 defense. If this card is normal summoned, you can send one Speedroid card from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card and target one Speedroid monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, special summon one Speedroid Synchro monster with the same level but a different name from your extra egg, but its effects are negated. The second effect is pretty alright. I mean, it sucks that the monster's effect is negated, and it also kind of sucks that it doesn't count as a Synchro summon. But it's there in case you need to use that Synchro Monster as Synchro Fodder. Next, we have the level 3 Synchro Tuner, since the new Clearwing Monster requires you to use a Synchro Tuner to summon it. Which seems kind of pointless, given how... how I'm not going to say it sucks, but it's like... It doesn't seem worth it to go through all that trouble just to summon... Anyways, let's get right into this. This card's name is High Speedroid Cork Blaster, and it's level 3 Wind Synchro Tuner Effect Monster with 500 attack and 1000 defense. This monster requires one tuner plus one or no more non-tuner monsters to summon. And, both, and its effect is a hard ones per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can activate one of these effects. Add one Speedroid spell or trap from your deck to your hand. And there's only two Speedroid spells and traps, unfortunately. One is pretty decent and the other is slightly below decent. And then you have the other option being if this card is Synchro Summoned using only Speedroid monsters as material, which chances are you'll actually end up doing. Since you could just use your yo-yo and go into red eye die and red eye die, change yo-yo to level 2, and then you can summon this thing. And then you can summon back your die and yo-yo. And I don't think the effects are negated. Yeah, they are not negated, so you can actually use red eye die's effect again to change yo-yo's level if you need to. And next we have high speed red clear wing rider. And it's a level 11 Wind Machine Synchro Effect Monster with 3500 attack and 2000 defense. As material reads, it needs one Wind Tuner or one or more non-Wind Tuner Synchro Monsters. Once per turn, you can roll a 6-sided die and shuffle Wind Monsters from your graveyard into the deck up to the result. Then you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number shuffled, which is pretty nice since it doesn't target, but it still requires a lot of setup. Also, this effect reminds me a lot of Sun Saga's effect. I mean, sure, Nui Sun Saga's. 
Anyway, and if you do, this card gains 500 attack for each card destroyed by this effect until the end of this turn. And there's an airplane flying by. Okay, now that that's over. For the second fact, it reads, during your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you contribute this synchro summon card, special summon up to two level 7 wind synchro monsters with different names from your extra deck. This is so you can summon your clear wing and as well as the fast wing dragon. Which, they're both pretty decent monsters, but I'm not a fan of this effect, since I don't like running pendulums in my speed roids, but that's just me. And then next we have the trap card. Banish one wind monster from your graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls. Return it to the hand. Second effect, during your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one speed roid monster you control. Reduce its level by 1, and if you do, special summon this card as a normal monster, Machine Tuner Wind Level 1, 0 Attack, 0 Defense Monster. This card is not treated as a trap. Next, we have Speed Ride Roulette, and Speed Ride Roulette is a quick play spell card, and its effect reads, discard one card, roll a six-sided die, and special summon up to two speedroid monsters from your hand or deck whose total level whose total levels exact exactly equal the results but their effects are negated and if you do you lose life points if if you cannot you lose life points equal to the result times 500 this card is pretty nice but the discard cost this card cost is not really that bad, considering how many speedroids have graveyard effects, and considering you can potentially special summon up to two monsters. So, at worst, you're just evening out. Actually, that would be, that would be a lie. At worst, you would just roll a one and summon your red eye die, and just go neg one. Next and lastly, we have Crystal Wing Synchro, Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. And it's level 10 Wind Dragon Synchro Effect Monster with 3000 attack and 2500 defense. Its material requires one Synchro Monster plus one, one non tuner Clear Wing Monster, which does sound like a lot just to summon this thing. But, anyways, once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect you can make this card gain attack equal to that opponent's original monster's original attack until the end of this turn and if you do this card is unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects this turn second effect once per turn when a spell or trap is activated or effect is activated quick effect you can negate the activation if you do destroy that card which seems pretty odd to just add to a clear wing monster but it is what it is, I guess. And the third effect, if this synchro summon card you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, you can add one wind monster from your deck to your hand. That's a pretty nice last effect. I don't think all this is worth the material, but it is. But again, it's what it is. Anyways, it's been me, your boy Blue Gansaga, and tell me what you guys think about the new Speedrake cards. And goodbye.